Hi everyone, it's Jen. Thank you so much for joining me today for this week's Friday Haul. It's Friday, August 5th. I hope you had a great week and that you're gonna have a great weekend as well. It's really hot here, probably um, in lots of places in the country. So hang in there, falls on the way, hopefully. But um, yeah, I'm gonna be spending most of the time inside, I'm sure, this weekend. So hopefully I'll get some more crafting done. So I did uh, get a bunch of things in this week that I'm looking forward to showing you. Lots of good crafty stuff. I did go to Michael's. I saw a bunch of people were getting uh, ribbon clearance. So I did buy a few things of ribbon that uh, I just couldn't pass up the deals because the ones I got were only a dollar. So let me show you what I got. This one is a red and white gingham. And I have a lot of like, uh, like burgundy and tan gingham, but not just like plain red and white. So that's how I justified buying this one. So <laughs> 10 yards for a uh, dollar is really good. Um, this one I've had in the past and I'm running very low on, so I wanted to get another one. And this is just like a red grow green ribbon with white stitching on the edges. I think the one I usually get is from Hobby Lobby, but this looks very similar. So for a dollar, I got that. And then this one is a red and black gingham, which I thought would be great for Christmas projects. And yeah, the, they have so many different things on clearance. The the bigger, like wider ones were $2, but I just wanted some thin ones. And then I got this gingham too, a yellow and white. So um, like I said, I don't need more ribbon, but you know, these are ones that I use. So I, you know, that's, that's what I'm telling myself. So that's why I got them. And then they had this embossing powder on clearance. It was $2 and it's called Sapphire and it's really pretty blue. I should have uh, price checked some of the other ones because I bet other ones were on clearance too and I didn't see. So I'm gonna have to check that. But yeah, only $2. So I thought that was really nice. And I think it looks like this will heat emboss nicely. I don't like when there are like too big of chunks of glitter because then sometimes it doesn't emboss that well. Do you ever find that? So I like the more solid or very fine glitter. So that's what I got. And then, with my 40% off coupon, I picked up this paper pad. They were just starting to get their uh, like Halloween paper crafting supplies out. And I'm pretty sure they've had this one before. This is an eight by eight paper pad of 24 sheets. Um, it's $11.99, but with the 40% off, it was $7.19. And the, most of the reason I got this, it's got mostly glitters, a couple of solids, the gray and the orange are solid, but it has this nice, uh, orange glitter and it's uh, it's not shedding but it's kind of rough it's not like a very smooth glitter so there's four of each and I wanted to show you the one that I really liked all right so there's a solid gray this one it's a black glitter and I don't have many black glitters and this is a nice thick uh, black glitter and I thought it'd be perfect for Halloween projects or any other time you need black glitter which I do find I need that sometimes this would also be good like for uh, for for wording sentiments either as the shadow or the main piece uh, I think that would be really nice and then it has this gold glitter didn't really need that either but that's okay and it's like a it's not really fine it's a kind of a chunkier thick glitter and then it comes with the solid orange, which is actually a nice orange, and then the, the silver glitter too. So I thought for $7, this was a good deal, especially for that, for that black. So that's all I got at Michael's. Um, I went to, let's see. Oh, let me show you what I got at Amazon. Marilyn G showed this on her channel. Hi, Marilyn, if you're watching. She had gotten this from Amazon and it's a pencil sharpener, an adjustable pencil sharpener. So it adjusts your point to five different uh, options. So you could have it like long and skinny or like, you know, more of a wider tip. So I thought that would be good for doing colored pencils because sometimes, you know, it doesn't sharpen them the way that they should be sharpened. So hopefully this will, this will help. And it's all in Japanese, so I'm not sure what it says. I think it's Japanese. And anyway, I will link it down below. If you're interest, interested, it has a lot of good reviews as well as Marilyn's recommendation. So there was that, I think it was like $8. And I went to Hobby Lobby and got a few things on clearance and a few sales. I got 
I picked up this faux leather, again with the black glitter. Um, ribbon is 50% off this week, so it was $2.50 instead of $4.99. And this is the only one they had of the black glitter. I don't remember seeing this before, but that doesn't mean they haven't had it. I just don't remember. Um, yeah, I think this will be really nice to make bows. I love using faux leather to make bows because it bends so nicely. And uh, this does seem pretty thick. Hopefully thinlet dies will cut it. If not, Big's dies will cut it fine. So yeah, got that. And as you know, there's not that much on here. It's only two feet long, but for 250, I thought that was fine. So that was from Hobby Lobby. And then I also picked up this. This was not on sale, but it's a stays on st a stamp cleaner. So I'm hoping I'll be able to use this to, um, you know, clean some of my stamps that uh, aren't, um, you know, that don't clean up well with baby wipes. So this was $5.99. If you've used that, let me know if, if you like it. And I picked up a few of the clearance, uh, like cardstock thingies. I got this folded cards and envelopes. This was $1.49, reduced from $5.99. And these are five and three quarters by five and three quarters. And I was watching um, Stephanie Garrett. And hi, Stephanie. She was saying that she really likes making cards this size. So I thought it, these would be good. It's close to, you know, a six by six card. Let's see what they're like. Are these envelopes? Nope, these are the cards. Okay. So that's a nice card base. Feels like 65 pounds paper. So if even if I make like a six inch uh, card front. I could just glue it on top of there. That would be fine, even though it's a little bit bigger than that. And then it's got the envelopes. So I guess if I want to use the envelopes, I need to make it on this. All right, so yeah, figured I'd try that size. And then I bought these envelopes. These are uh, 8.875 by 3.875 inch envelopes. 124 reduced from 5.99. So these will fit like, some kinds of slimline cards. And I make them occasionally, and I have made envelopes for them, but I think it'll be much easier just to have them pre-made. Well, that's kind of cool how they open instead of like here, they open on the end. So yeah, something different. I didn't buy like the regular size envelopes because I have a ton of them and I really didn't need any more. So that's what I got from Hobby Lobby. I think that's it. Yeah, that was it. Um, well, I, you know what? I did get some stuff in the spring section. Spring is, um, well, as of when I bought them yesterday, it was 75% off. So I bought a toaster for my daughter for her um, off-campus apartment that ended up being $10. And then I bought an air fryer for myself that was $20 and it's pink. And then I bought uh, something else that I'll show in my home decor video. It's a little bit too big to show now. But yeah, if you haven't been to Hobby Lobby uh, for this sale, you should get there. And I have this rip here in my uh, table covering. So that's gonna drive me crazy. I have to do something about that. All right, let's move on to, let's see. How about Frantic Stamper? Uh, of course I ordered from there again and I don't know, I just like going on there and perusing around and I needed some like basic sequins. So I got two packs of basic sequins. I got red and black. And this one is five millimeters uh, round cup sequins. I think, yeah, this is five millimeters too. And these were, these were pretty cheap. I think they were like, uh, I don't know, a dollar or two. So uh, yeah, I, I needed red. I just don't have plain red sequins and sometimes, sometimes you need them in your shaker mix and black is always nice to have. And then I got some pre-mixed ones that are really fun. Um, this one is called Oink Oink. Nicole, if you're watching this, do you have this sequins mix? This one has little piggy faces in it, see? Oh my gosh, so cute, right? Yeah, Oink Oink. And it's by Picket Fence Studio. And that's a number in case you're interested. But it comes with the little clay pig faces and pink stars and like transparent sequins and white stars and little sprinkles too. So these are $4.99 by the way, which is kind of high. You know, there's not a whole lot in here. There's, mm, I don't know how much is in there, but you know, once in a while I like to get pre-made sequins mixes and those pigs, I just, um, I love that. So there's that one. And then, oh, you know why I wanted to get these? 
the, what started started it off was the candy corns. I wanted little uh, clay candy corns, and I was looking for those, and I found this sequence mix. So this one is called Halloween Treats, also by Picket Bent Studios. And so it has the candy corns, and then white and black sequins. It's got little clay moons and uh, black sprinkles. So perfect for your Halloween shakers. And uh, yeah, I just wanted the candy corns, really, but I like everything in there. And then the other one I got, this one is called Pumpkin Cookies. Look at that one. Isn't that cute? It's got the little, like, um, the pumpkins, but they have, like, a like a blue stem area on them, even though it's, like, brownish and tan. And then it has these cookies that look kind of like cinnamon buns. And then it has, like, coordinating uh, sprinkles and sequins and what else looks like black clay bits too are those stars those little tiny ones i would open it but it's all taped shut and it's just going to take too long but hopefully you can get a good idea of what that is and i just thought this was really unique like i wouldn't be able to make this myself with the sequins that i have on hand same with all of them so that's why i got them and then also from frantic stamper i got a die where is it oh yeah Okay, this one is called Whittle Chickens, and it's by Poppy, um, Poppy Stamps, Inc. And it's really tiny. This is the stamp that comes in this big envelope. It's just this. But look at those little chickens. They have stitching on them, and then it comes with five little eggs as well. So I wanted just some little chicken dies, so that's why I got it. And it's style 2445, and I started making a project with them. I have a couple little chickens I wanted to show you what they look like. There's one of them. I just did a little ink blending on the edges of that one, but look how tiny and cute. And you could even like lift up the wing if you wanted to because it kind of punches out the, the two ends and leaves one part intact. So super cute, right? And then here's another one. That's the one that's just kind of like facing forward. And here's one of the extra eggs. Sorry, my hands have glitter all over them. So yeah, I'm making a project. I'll show you soon. It's just not quite done yet. But uh, teeny little chickens. And I think this was $4.99. So not bad at all. Something unique, I thought. And then I got this stamp from Impression Obsession. This is one of their cover a card stamps, which I don't have any of these. And I thought this one was really cute. This is what the pattern is pattern is. It's all these pumpkins and stars and um, little swirlies, I guess. This one is called Pumpkins, and the number is CC423, in case you're interested, by Lindsay Ostrom. I always like everything she draws, it seems like. So I haven't used it yet, but I'm looking forward to making backgrounds with this, you know, maybe just inking it up with some brown ink and putting it on some cardstock, like um, I've been doing with that little gingerbread stamp, and I just kind of mimic this kind of style, you know, stamp it and then turn it and keep stamping it. But this way everything is all done for you. So all you have to do is ink it once and then press it down. So I'm sure it's excellent quality and it's huge. As you can see, it's like a, I don't know, six by six practically. 5.75, okay, yeah. So there's that. And then I got a paper pack, which I don't think I've tried this brand before. This is from Reprint Hobby, and it's called Swedish Collection Fika. Not sure if that's how you say that, but that's the number, RPP026. 20 double face sheets, two of each design, 170 GSM. This is a six by six paper pack, and let's take a look at it. I liked the colors. Um, it reminded me of Maha Designs, which is also Swedish. And I like the small prints as well. So let's start at the front. So, oh, okay. So it's just like a smaller piece on the front. And there's like this pretty green, um, kind of distressed looking paper. And the back has, look at that, isn't that cute? It's these kitchen items. There's like a jam jar, a cart of milk, silverware, ketchup just all sorts of different kitchen type things, a rolling pin, a stock pot, a honey jar. This is super cute. Oh boy, I love that. So what did I say? Two of each. So there's two of those. And then this one is like a toss of coffee cups. And what is that? Is that a, I'm not sure. 
some kind of a pitcher or something. And then there's a like a um, Irish coffee, it looks like, and cupcakes and just very cute flowers in the background. And the back is this just kind of distressed tan print. So two of those. And then this is cut apart tags that are really, really pretty. Love all the uh, kitcheny elements. And then there's a strip down at the bottom too. And the back is just kind of neutral. Two of those. And then this is another collage kind of print. Oh, these are like cookbooks lined up. A uh, pot, a uh, jug of flowers, book. Very cute. And then a cute gingham on the back of that one. There's a blue gingham and the back is just solid blue. And these are all a little bit distressed and they're nice matte papers. A pink gingham with a light pink on the back. Yeah, this is a very light color. Here's some more like little cut aparts. These would be good for those little books that KS Craft has to die for. So cute. Cafe Chocolat, Eau de Lavande. I took French back in school, so um, I don't, I kind of know how to pronounce stuff, but I'm probably making mistakes. And then there's another like very small subdued print on the back. These are really, really pretty, I think. And then there's this one with the butterflies and words and a, a base of flowers. And the little flowers on the back. And then this is, it looks kind of like a grayish green. And you can see on this one how distressed it is on the edges. Yeah, and there's that green color on the background. Really pretty soft muted colors. And then here's that honey pot with like a jug of oil or something. And just lots of pretty images on it, butterflies. And the back has the butterflies and boy that's so tiny I think there are little bees in there too if you could see that so yeah really pretty I was glad to uh try a new new to me collection so I think that'll be nice in my like recipe album or cards or something like that so there's that and that was it from Frantic Stamper I think I have just Dollar Tree left yeah I got a few things from there. I went to uh, the bigger Dollar Tree at a different part of town while I was out there. And I picked up one of these electric pencil sharpeners. This was the last one in pink, so I thought I'd try it. And I'll just use this for like regular pencils. Uh, that part must spin around, so it'll be interesting to see how that works. Does it come with batteries? Probably not, right? No, uses three AAA batteries. Okay, well, I have those, so I'll try that out. Um, I found this cute little sign that says Welcome Autumn and it was, well, obviously $1.25, but it's really nice and thick and I think this will be cute like on a um, tear tray or something. Looks like I have a little stain there, but um, yeah, very cute and you, you can embellish these even more too. There were a bunch of different designs. I got a few uh, stems of Bittersweet, which looks like this. And I think faux bittersweet is kind of hard to find. If you like to decorate in like primitive or country style, um, you probably know what I mean. But this was really cute, I thought. And three of these, so it turned out to be 375. And there's a decent size, you know, little bouquet here that I could add to a pitcher or something in the fall. So, and these, this is really pretty. They also had one that had more of a yellow flower, but this is more authentic bittersweet, so. I was glad to find those. I don't see those in my regular Dollar Tree. And then I got some of those Halloween bottles that everyone's been getting. I got this pack. Uh, this one has Wool of Bat Magic, Witch's Brew, Trimmed Spider Hair, and Unfiltered Poison. So you could add your own glitter or, you know, little doodads or whatever you want in there to make it look like what it says on the front. So I thought that was really cute. I like the amber bottles too. And then I got this smaller set and this has, looks like the same thing, but just a smaller scale. And I like the little chunky shape of those. And then I got this set too. And this has the taller bottles, the same thing. I love the cork tops, super cute. 
And I think that was, oh, I got another stylus. I got this one that's like a aqua color. The other one I got was teal, so I got aqua here. So um, I like this one better. I'll just give the other one away. And I think that's it, you guys. So not a whole lot, but a decent amount. And I'm still collecting some more home decor that I'll be on to show you once I get a few more things uh, in to show. And um, I did get a DIY art bin store uh, design team package. So I'm working on that too. Really cute Christmas dies. If you like paper piecing, you probably really like DIY art bin store. And I like both of those. So yeah, um, having fun doing those. And I guess that's it. Um, yeah, I'll be back soon with more crafty videos. I've had some requests to do a video on how to, to use the Dollar Tree foam board to make shakers. Uh, some people have been saying that uh, when they run it through their die cutting machine, it flattens it out too much. Sometimes I have that problem, but usually not. So I'll try and give you like my tips as to how to make it work in your die cutting machine. I'll show you my sandwich and then we can make a shaker together. So I will, I'm, hope, I'm hoping to make that video over the weekend. So I will get back to you once, once that's done. Um, tutorials generally take longer than hauls and project shares, but I will, uh, I'll start working on that and try to make it as helpful as I can, of course. So that's it, you guys. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I'd love to hear what you think. And I will be back soon with more crafty videos. Have a wonderful weekend and take care. Bye, guys.